rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. I didn't see you get on. so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the Citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer here. It's all I have left. <laughs> all right, I'm moving. Jeez. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or been you chosen the only ones to relocate on that train? to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17. Overwatch that I stopped our train in the woods and took my husband my for questioning. Here. They said he'd in be the on the next train. So thoughtfully provided I'm not by sure when that benefactors. was. Did there, there be nice, though, letting City me wait for him? My home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safer. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to, to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Never see them go. They're always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always they're always departing, but they never arrive. And the ones that do arrive, they, they, they never leave. You never see them go. They're always full. Welcome. No ever gets on, Welcome to City 17. You have chosen or I see they took your suitcase to too. They can't to get away with this much longer. Remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I'm I the nerve to go to on. establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by Dr. Breen again. I've I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. In I wouldn't say that too loud. So, this is his base of operations. Whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown. Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Wait a minute. Where are you taking me? Me? Welcome. Welcome to Super 17. Oh, shit, shit. 
You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. This must be a mistake. I got a standard relocation coupon just like everybody else. beer I owed you. It's me, Gordon. Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here, somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. question you might have left unvoiced. First, let us consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our reach. This simple fact has far-reaching implications. You gotta be damn hungry to wait in line for this crap. Revision of our genetic inheritance. It also requires planning and forethought that run in direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that our true enemy is instinct. Our instinct was our mother when we were an infant species. Instinct coddled us, kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hearted our sticks and turned our first meals above a meager fire and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern's walls. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we clearly see its true 